morning. Yes, good day. Well, wow, what can I say? We've um, we've just had a beautiful night here at our River Rock Mountains Hip Camp here at Gloucester. Um, got quite chilly overnight. Yes, it's, it did, and it's quite chilly still this morning. Yeah. But it's a magic day. It's, it's magic. Oh. The sun's shining, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's probably got close to zero degrees yeah. last night. Yeah. And good old Max came through again and we, yep. we chucked the diesel heater on. Went all night, it was perfect. Oh. Yeah. Kept the caravan warm, we had it set to 20 degrees, so. Definitely wasn't 20 out here. <laughs> wasn't 20 out here. <laughs> no. Came out and did some early morning photos and uh, yeah, she was pretty fresh. But um, yeah, we were nice and toasty and warm last night. Well, this morning we've got up and we're just cooking some bacon eggs on the Weber. We have a big day ahead. So look at that. Yeah, we've got the um, the host here at the hip camp, Chris. He's going to come down and, and show us around. It's it's got a, a few good four-wheel drive tracks around here apparently. There's good bike riding tracks. He's got himself another little area, another campsite he's building here up on the top of the hill. It's apparently got views back east almost to the ocean. So yeah, it's um it's amazing this one. Just some things to note. He's got some toilets here if you want to hire for the weekend. So if you don't have a full setup, then you got toilets. When we arrived yesterday, the fire, the wood was stacked. Uh, it was good solid wood as well. There's just, just a little extra fee for the, the wood, which is fine. And we sat around here last night and just enjoyed the fire. The stars were out, it was just glorious. Uh, we saw Scorpio. Scorpio was up in the sky last night. Orion. Orion was over there in the west. We had the crescent moon setting as the sun was sort of going down. And uh, oh, it was beautiful. But yeah, so basically we'll have a breakfast and then head off with Chris and go and have a bit of a tour. And Yum! Hey puppy. Hey. Good morning. Morning. Glad, how are you mate? I'm good, Chris. How are you? Not too bad. Not a beautiful day. Oh, a great day in paradise. Yeah. yeah. Well, here we are this morning with Chris. He's the host of this hip camp. And we uh, we thought we were impressed last night when we drove in, but my God, it just gets better and better. I'm just extremely good looking, aren't I? Oh, mate. mate. Tell ya. Great looking bloke there. Oh man, that's there. Yeah. Well, Chris owns this property and he's set up this beautiful hip camp here. Certainly one to recommend. And today we're going to go and have a bit of a look around. Yes, I'll and, uh, give you a tour of my next project. Ah. It's going to be called uh, Starlight Ridge or Starlight Rock. Oh, that sounds good. So one of the best views on the east coast of uh, stars, yep. meteorites, satellites, storms out to sea. Um, and it's uh, for caravans. Oh, perfect. Uh, and people in swags. Yep. Uh, attaching yourself to a, a big deck. Oh. Um, and yeah, I hope it works. Yeah, I'm sure it will. If it's anything like this one down here, uh, you'll kill it. It's great. Like I said earlier, we got the fire pit, we had the wood stacked up here last night, and we just sat around, and oh, it was awesome. Actually, we need some more wood, so. 
Yep. yep. So if you can organise the butler to organise some more wood for us, please. I'll change my gloves. <laughs> right on to it, <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, stay tuned. We're going to go for a bit of a look around, and this is going to be great. It's, um, yeah, amazing place, this one. Alrighty, we've just come up with Chris to the uh, his new spot he's building and uh, we might just have a look at what the view is going to look like. Yeah. Check this out. Mm. Wow, look at this. So he's built this new deck and caravans can come in, have the deck and have the view. Mm. Pretty good mate. Yeah, it is. Great when it's finished. Yep, yep, a lot of work. Yep, yep, yep. Getting there, but the idea, um, so you bring your caravan, yep, like down here, you mm -hmm. attach yourself to the car uh, the deck, yep, you'll have running water, uh, gas, solar power. Uh, I'm also thinking about maybe a nice jacuzzi. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, but um, yeah, and just sit up here and watch the storms out to sea the stars everything so wow last night was just brilliant with the stars up here mm. there's no light from town so oh just at night time it's perfect oh what a magnificent part of australia it's been tucked away for too long yeah well so the back ridge over here yep oh look at Gloucester, this Gloucester tops oh yeah and barrico on the most southern point Mm -hmm. and it swings back around and the star of the barren to tops out that way so in winter of course you'll get snow dusting on top there yeah most on, on the Gloucester tops uh, mountains yeah um, the higher we go up which is the next project along yeah you get full views of the snow oh nice oh, wow. and nice. back over here there's uh, the buckets of mountains of course yep yeah. look at how rugged they are so um this is all family owned property it's been uh, four generations in the mm -hmm. Stanton family name yep so we have Captain Thunderbolt's Caves, yeah, uh, which are on the third mountain on the other side. Oh, wow. And then down the gully is uh, Captain Thunderbolt's Stables. Oh. That's an oh. underground cave. Wow. No way. Um, so it's a bit hard to access that at the moment. Yep. So I'm yep. on my uh, yep. brother's property. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. So wow. But, uh, we can show people where they are. Yep. Well, oh, that's... Yeah. Looks like a lot of hard work to get there, so yeah, if here's a good spot, just look at it. <laughs> oh, have a wine and a drink and <laughs> yeah, you know, I can yeah. tell you stories anyway. Oh, wow. Captain Thunderbolt. It's those who aren't sort of used to this um, area here in the Hunter Valley. We're still in the Hunter Valley, aren't we? Sort of almost yeah, the Man North Manning Coast. Valley, Mid-North Coast. It's now called the Barrington Coast. Barrington Coast. Mm. Mm. Well, the Bush Ranger, back in the Bush Ranger days, Captain Thunderbolt used to sort of work between here, Urala, and back into Newcastle and all that. And there's the Thunderbolt's Way, I think it is in the yep. drive, Thunderbolt's yep. Way. And it basically heads right up through to um, Urala. Is it really Urala? Up yeah. at the top there? Yep. And yeah, and yeah, he used to live in this area. Great stories. Ah, oh, good oh. old days. Oh. Good days. So what do you think, Natty? Yeah, good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I know. I know we're obviously like a few nights yeah. this year and the years uh, to come. The other thing yeah. I meant failed to mention on that um, the deck over there will be yep. a pizza um, oven. Oh, it just so gets better. It's going to be open for small groups of weddings and parties, oh, yeah. and you can attach four or five caravans to the deck. You're undercover, um, and just enjoy. Wow. How does it get better than this, hey? Stay tuned. Uh, Chris will be uh, releasing this one soon, but this will be one to check out. This is this is great. We'll go to the fossilized beach next. Oh, and there's a gold mine out there too somewhere, which I've never found. But it's there somewhere. Oh. More adventures ahead. Stay tuned. Okay, so what have we got here? 
this would be my third cider in the end. Yes. Um, at the back here, I'm going to do uh, like a treehouse type thing, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Or a dome on a deck. Oh, so, um, dome on a deck. Once again, uh, the treehouse, I'm thinking it will be a, a shipping container underneath with a wall full of windows, fireplace, lounge. On top of the deck will be a family tent. Oh, um, glamping. Glamping, yeah. Glamping. Or that or a family dome. Mm. So you can watch the stars. One of those canvas tents you see set up like in safaris where they have a, like an African safari theme or something. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah in Africa. <laughs> so um, if you just swing around towards uh, the hill here, Glen. Yep. In that furthest point where you see that touch of rainforest coming out, mm -hmm. this is all full of fossils. Oh. So it was a, a beach means and means of years ago. So this mountain over here is also on my property, so you can walk on top of that ridge or drive and see the views. And there's also another two ridges behind, or three, three ridges actually, behind that. So you can push bike right up and down mountain trails, you can walk, bush walk, um, all the, the way around here as well. And this is where all the koalas are, around these spots oh, around here. Just gets better and better. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep it friendly and just the way it is now. Yep, so, yep, um, natural. Yep. And go from there. Magnificent. Koalas, fossils. So basically what we're saying is it used to be an ocean Ooh. and somewhere along the line the earth got unhappy and pushed everything up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the plate, tectonic plates or whatever it is. And somewhere out there is a gold mine which I've never found. Right. Um, but people find it's 50-50. Is it? Don't, don't leave the country. Okay. <laughs> Natty, get the shovel. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we, we could retire a bit earlier than we planned. So, this is great. Here we are in Gloucester, New South Wales, Australia, enjoying the beautiful views. And this is Chris's property. And mate. And rock on. Rock on. He's man with vision this one. And I'll tell you what, we'll be back lots of times to this one. Certainly enjoy. Alrighty, so what what's over there, Chris? This uh patch of rock over here with the trees and the gully. Oh yep. That's actually fun bolt stables. Uh-huh. So what's actually happened uh, means years ago we've had uh, three rocks or four rocks land perfectly in the the outer rim of the creek. And a big flat rock land perfectly on top and made an underground cave out of it. Oh. So that's where he used to store all his horses and um, they had a creek and and those uh, a couple hundred years ago it was full of complete bushland and hide his horses. Mm -hmm. And then the caves were on the other side of the mountains over there and it's just like uh, two eyes, like the old Phantom comics. <laughs> oh yeah. So he'd sit on top of the mountain, rob the horses, store his horses there yeah. and then uh, have a barbecue, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah I suppose you beer. And a beer, yeah. <laughs> oh, went in Australia. Yeah, but uh, how good is that? Well, we've just come back to our camp. We asked Chris for some wood. And he's given us a little trailer full of it. Look. Look at that. That's a cute little blue trailer. How good is that? Yeah. Yeah, and he's put some in the fire pit already. So we had great service here. I'm going to sit around here and uh, might have another beer tonight. And yeah. It's around the campfire, but yeah. check out this little trailer. How good's yeah, that? How cute is it? <laughs> oh, mate. This is good. This is great. So we've got our wood. Yep. Another hour or so and we'll light it. It'll be good. Yep. Well, it's that time of weekend again. Always uh, weekend warriors need to pack up and go home and back to work tomorrow. So, just a little bit of a wrap up for here. River Rock Mountains, hip camp here at Gloucester. 
It's been an absolutely amazing place. We're right next to the river here. It's a single camp spot. We're the only ones here. Chris, the host, has been absolutely brilliant. Can't do enough for us. When we drove in on Friday afternoon, you had the wood stack and the fire ready to go. Got all the utensils over there to work with it, cooking utensils. There's toilets here if you want to hire them. There's extra wood if you want to get it. Uh, he delivered extra wood for us in the little buggy and trailer yesterday afternoon. We've, we've had the most perfect weather. Warm days, cold nights. The stars, incredible both nights. And the river is just here. I just have to, have to listen to this beautiful sound of water all weekend. There's a couple of swimming holes just further up the river there and just down the river apparently. We'll definitely be coming back to this one and swimming in the river in the warmer months. But yeah, if you're looking for a beautiful spot, a couple of hours out of Newcastle, whether you come for a night, a weekend or a week or longer, I can thoroughly recommend this one. This is tranquil, beautiful. The views from the hill up there where he's going to build his second spot. Chris will take you for a, um, a tour of the property and then you're free to roam. It's, uh, yeah, she's a beautiful one, this one. Add it to your list. Thank you for watching.